we can't say for sure because for you to declare a flattening of the curve there has to be increased number of testing uh, with detection of fewer cases but as it is we've noticed um, progressive decline in the testing rates across various states which is as a result of lower sample collection rates uh, in the month of August, we discovered that um, testing rate declined by up to 36%, uh, while test positivity has also declined by about 25%. So for us to really show and be sure that uh, what we are having is actual flattening of the curve or actual decline in the number of cases and not a pseudo decline, we need to test at least as many people as we have tested before uh, and maintain that tempo of testing or even improving our testing uh, capacity on a daily basis and then show that steady decline in the number of cases before we can truly say that we are flattening the curve. So as it is currently COVID-19 is still very much with us in the country. Um, the response to this outbreak is a marathon but it is a marathon that we can win and we can only win if collectively we all observe the prescribed public health and social measures of maintaining regular hand hygiene, Nigerians washing our hands frequently with soap under running water, wearing face masks whenever we are in public spaces, in public places, making sure we maintain that safe distance of at least two meters from the other person. And then, of course, maintaining environmental hygiene, wiping off surfaces, and keeping safe at all times. Avoiding large gatherings. It is only then that we can collectively win the war against COVID-19. And very soon, we will be happy to announce to the country that, indeed, the curve has been flattened. <laughs>